how do you prepare your Phantom 4 drone before you can start flying it. So if you just got it out of the box, you need to do some preparations before you can start flying it. Now looking at this here, the drone come with a uh, protective clamp. So we need to remove this plastic clamp first before we can start using it. So down here is a clip we can just pull out. And here, once the clip is removed, the camera is loose, so you can see we can move the camera around and adjust it. Now the cables is on this side here. Wonder why the design have the cable right there it looks um, fragile, or like easy to break. The cable is hard, so it's really hard, but it kind of looks scary when the cable is exposed outside like that. Now there is also a plastic foam or a foam piece that you need to remove. So here if we look at the back here, it say remove before flight. So we need to remove it before flight. That helps keep the cameras in place. So I presume after you finish you can put it back back in. So before you flight just make sure you remove that. Now if the battery isn't installed, you can put it in. Um, when it comes out, the box is already in place. But if it's not, you need to uh, put the battery in. I'm just going to take it out to show it to you. So there it is. So you can just put it in by inserting the battery. Pretty um, straightforward. Just push a button to get it in. This button at the top, and there's another button at the bottom. You need to press both buttons to take it in or out. So once that's done, there is a warning or danger stickers or tag, you can just remove it. So just remove the tag. There's some other warning stickers that you can just leave it on. It uh, doesn't really do much. So it's right here. Ensure that the propeller is secure installed before flying. Match the black ring propellers with the motors with the ring with the black dots. So we're going to uh, install the propeller now onto the drone and with the propellers there are actually two different ones this one with a black rings and there's another one with a silver ring you can see here there are two different types or two different colors um, they are designed to be going in uh, uh, different directions to help the drone fly so make sure that you put the silver rings onto the motor with a white coloring now with the black rings on the propeller you can see there's a black color it goes into the white of the black dot so on the motor here they have the black dot on each of these uh, things here so just uh, break up the plastic there is a plastic covering this round circle thing so just remove it so you can just pop it open and open up remove the plastic we need to uh, make sure that the propeller is properly installed before we can fly so here it is you can just put it in right here so that just go into place and you need to twist it into the there is on the propeller there is a, an icon there's a lock icon so we want to follow the direction of the arrow to make it lock. So here we're going to put it in. So like so and then just twist it into that direction. And that's locking the propellers. So we want to make sure it is locked properly so you can test it. So put it on the table and test it to make sure it's not moving about it is if it's locked in place then it is tight so now we can go ahead and continue with the other propellers the silver one is in now we need another silver one so my assistant is giving me a hand to uh, remove the plastic under the propeller and he's gonna put it in The black one here is ready as well to put in. So another 
Receive one over here. That's it. Just twist it with the direction of the lock icon. So you can see here, if you twist it the other way, it's unlock. And if you twist it one other way, it will lock the propeller. So the last one here is the black one. Okay, now the, all the four propeller is uh, installed into the drone. Now underneath here, there is also a um, the gimbal here. There is a um, stickers you can also remove right there. So we just gonna remove it. Okay, on the controller. So with the controller, um, you can take out the plastic covering. So we're just gonna lift up the antenna, and then. At the back here, there is a sticker, sticker type. We just remove that. So I'm just going to put it down the table. You can always turn it over and take a look. There is some more stickers over here. Do need to take it out. So you can see it sticks to this thing here in the middle. I'm just gonna keep it open. You can use a scissors to uh, cut it out. We don't really need to use this uh, plastic again. Even the piece of plastic is hard to take out. You want to get scissors? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so once we got that out of the way, you can move the antenna around here. Now this is the holder to hold the device, the iPhone or the iPad. Now if you want to hold the iPhone, you can flip this one open because this one here itself does not fit so we need to um, flip it up by pressing on the button here so by putting on this button the thing will automatically slide up so we've got a spring in there and you can just remove open up this clamp here and then have your phone onto the clamp and then push it down and that will hold your phone in place so I'm just seeing how secure it is. So it still slide a little bit. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not extremely tight. So it's slide a little bit, but it's good enough. So you can move around. It's, it's good enough to hold the device. Um, if you've got a bigger device, such as an iPad Mini, uh, we might want to extend the holder and put in the iPad Mini. Let's take a look at the iPad Mini and how it hold so there it is the iPad mini hold really steady so you can see here it doesn't move so it's really steady so I can kind of like do that and it's not even move so if with, it's the one with the iPhone 6 where it doesn't really hold that well so let's see. close this now on your join there is a um, power buttons that you can uh, press on it to um, uh, start. Um, if you want to uh, uh, have it full charge before flying, you can um, so just press on this power button, it will uh, initialize the aircraft or the drone and it is turned on. The battery is pretty low at the moment, you can see it's only one bar. So we can uh, uh, charge it up. Once you turn on, you can hear it make a little bit of noise and it's like a fan hissing noise make. So the camera is kind of like um, following me right now. So you need to um, calibrate it if, you know, before you start using it. So 
I'm just going to charge it up first before uh, we can actually fly this uh, drone. So there is a um, charge uh, holes right here and there's also an SD card uh, ready to record uh, videos. So I'm going to charge it up. So once you start charging it up, um, you can uh, start flying it. Um, if you um, read the user menu, how to fly this uh, drone. Thanks for watching this video.